state of economic development, a number of elevated highways have been built in Taiwan, but are they really necessary to ease traffic congestion? In the final installment of our series of features on the bridges of Taiwan, we go to Banqiao of Taipei to find out why residents oppose the construction of an elevated road by the river. On one bank, an elevated highway is being built. On the other, there are leafy trees. This is Nanzu River in Banqiao, Taipei County. Residents say their waterway is being threatened by a government construction project. The road by the river is the elevated section of the number two highway. It runs from the Tuchen intersection to Banqiao and follows the river all along the left bank of the Nanzu River. Unwilling to see the river sacrificed to development, Lin Xiaomei gathered the support of local school teachers to organize a petition and other activities against the project. We are often labeled as an environmental group. I say we are a local pressure group. We want to do something for our living space and our community industries. By getting involved, we've created new visions for our hometown. If the elevated highway isn't built, Banqiao will become a stronger city. After an elevated highway goes through a city, because we get on it at this point and come out somewhere in the city, when we finish our business, we will quickly get out of the city, so the city becomes very functional and efficient, but the cultural experience is lost. Experience in Korea, Japan, and the United States shows that elevated freeways are not the only way to ease city traffic jams. With scientific management and analysis, we can significantly reduce construction projects. If our city is only for industrial development and continually uses construction projects to build a lot of bridges and to solve our urban problems, then how can the city be competitive in the 21st century? In the end, the campaign to protect the Nanzu River failed, and the elevated highway project was contracted out to developers. But Lin Xiaomei did not give up on her dream. We were gloomy for a month, and then after holding a concert, we snapped out of it and started dreaming again. We thought we could pull it down 30 years. The issue now is not whether to build the road or not. Now the issue is a sustainable future for this land for the next generation and the generation after that. At the start of the 21st century, we have seen values in the city change. We think the quality of the environment is an important indicator for the city. So we say a city is great not because of high technology or the economy, but because of good governance to wise policies to solve the problems facing the city. Perhaps elevated highways and road bridges were necessary for economic expansion in the past, but today we need to take a longer view towards a sustainable future and look for alternatives to endless construction projects. Only by escaping the snares of economic development can a great city of the 21st century be established on the small but beautiful island of Taiwan.